Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. Jackson and I are doing one cast today. It is Monday the 8th of April. And I'm back up here. This swings around a little more. You can see I'm up in the trophy area and I'm going to be fly fishing pretty much using the same thing I did the other day. Uh, it's a number 14 Peppy Scud Gray. And then about two feet, a little more than two feet, I've got a number uh, 18 red zebra midge. And I've actually got some 7x fluorocarbon tippet between those two flies and then 6x above it. And I lost my toothpick out of my indicator. Set that about five foot deep to the scud. Okay. I'm sitting over here and on the shallow side throwing to the deep. Lake setting a little high. They ran up to three units of water this morning. And it's kind of left the lake pretty high. It does that some. It'll drain on down if they don't run it, but and I'm only talking maybe six inches high. little bit of current looks like too which is okay I like that and I got a fish on the first cast and it's a nice one too wow I was not ready for that Almost positive I got him on the scud. So that means I got him on 7x, seven, seven so I can't put a lot of pressure on him. Excuse me, Jack. Let me get a little bit. This fish has jumped three times. Sticking just a little bit. It's not the best reel. Not even sure what it is. The drag seems like it's a little sticky. Ooh. You don't want it to stick, especially with 7X, or it'll pop it. Trying to keep my boat in position.
you might ask why 7x I just felt like you know, I might get bit a little better with 7x if the water's pretty clear it's I came out it's about five o'clock instead of coming out late in the evening but the chop of the water really helps too ah. position of the boat. See if we can get him in here. Got him. Quarter of them out. Nice. I can go home. Okay. Not sure how I can outdo that, Jack. He's about 16 inches, I'd say. I mean, there's a fair amount of current. They're not supposed to run water this evening, but it is really moving. Just that little bit of little bit of current moves that scud pretty good. Yeah, you know that seven x. Even a little fish could break it if I'm not careful. I'm in a little close.
I don't know guys, I think they might be running a little bit of water. Let me check my app. It says none. Oh, they are supposed to run water at 6. And it is 5.30. So they might have kicked it on early and it's not showing up yet. I think that's what we got. As long as it doesn't come on real hard, I'm fine. I love this. <clears throat> I looked at the water generation this morning for this morning. I did not scroll down and look and see what it was going to do this evening. So I really didn't prepare for this, but I'm okay so far. I got the wind blowing me downstream too, which is, it's okay, it's manageable. Oh, I just missed one. That's pretty good fish. I'm gonna put it on spot lock. Sneak him in the net. <laughs> Good. I believe I got him on the zebra midge. I got kind of a mess there. I have to figure that out. Hope you saw him, because he's gone. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, maybe it won't be too bad. Oh. Yeah, it is. Oh, kind of got a knot. Okay. Yep, there it went. All right, I'm going to be back here in a second. I've got to retie. And because 
of the water conditions I'm going to tie on 6x in this scud should I tie it on? I think I will Okay, got her all back together. I tied on a number 14 um, zebra midge just because it's heavier and it'll help get this, keep this gut down. With this water moving like this. Yeah, current's picked up quite a bit since I left you. I've still got it on the spot lock. I'm just gonna kind of fish this little stretch right here and just see if I can get bit. Oh, that was a bite right when I was going to mend it. One more time, then we're going to drift. that okay I'm set and we're gonna drift Pick my big motor up. So, what did I do this weekend? I went to Houston, Missouri. Um, well, which is uh, out towards the boot hill, out Highway 60. It's out by Kabul, south of uh, Montauk. Little community. I actually went out there last Thursday or Wednesday and we looked at, I think I mentioned it, um, a Walgreen that had closed in that little town and we ended up buying all of the shelves and the contents of that store 
for not much money. So we went out there with a couple of guys from the pantry and a bo big box truck. Took a box truck, blown to cam. And we took, we'd bought a dump trailer, so I drove Ryan's truck out there with a dump trailer. And we put in, Marsh and I put in about 12 hours. The other two boys, they were out there a little bit earlier, they put in 14 hours of breaking down and loading. We, we just, there was too much stuff. Bottom line, I got him on the zero image. Way too much stuff. And breaking it down, those gondolas and my word. So, Saturday we spent all day doing that. And then I went back out Sunday and put another six hours in. He is pretty breaking down and loading and we still didn't get everything. Ah. <clears throat> nice. Pretty, pretty fish today. And we spent this morning unloading some of it. That's the other problem we don't have. We got a warehouse, but it's full of food. So we gotta try to figure out how. We're gonna use quite a bit of the shelving. For, no, we've got a couple of satellite pantries opening in Foresight, Branson West. And then we have other nonprofits that have thrift stores that we can help with shelving for them and uh, but we still have just a lot of stuff a lot of shelving our eyes were way too I mean, we just didn't know we just didn't know what we're being an experience like that and my gosh breaking them down and, and stuff oh wow that was an education. It's amazing how intricate and in just the things that... Oh, got him on the uh, scud, little one. How they all go together, you know, behind the scenes stuff. It's crazy. stuck here again. I'm going to sit here for a second. I'm starting to get quite a bit of a shadow now with the sun going down behind me, which is good. Nesting. Not too bad, he's not as small as the last two. Or last one. So I got him on the scud. Another pretty one. 
at. Oh wow, this scud has got almost all of the fur is gone. That's it's got a little bit of tuft of fur at the very top of the hook. Everything else is bare thread. It's got orange thread and some uh, lead wire. Gosh. I caught him on this guy. Maybe I uh, just invented a new fly. Thread and lead wrap. That's crazy. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. show you this fly. That's what he hit. A lot of us get real picky about our flies, about our scuds and how they look and the size and the color and all that stuff and then then you throw something like that at them and of course they are feeding I mean they're I just missed one If I don't catch one pretty quick, I'm going to change flies.
Okay. I think my scud has uh, caught as many fish as it's going to. Gosh. All right, be right back. Okay, I've got a number 14, but it's not a peppy. Out of work. I am going to make this a little deeper. The water running, I think I want to get it down there a little better. Just a little bit more. Ah, that's good enough. almost lost all my chop but it should still be pretty good because I've got current and I just missed one okay Oh, just him. Thirty nine, that's all. Starting to get a little deep, a little bit shallower water. I kind of was in a hole up there. Yeah, I'm getting in real shallow water. So I'm gonna move out some. There we go, that's better. Yeah, I'm getting down to the narrows where it's really going to get shallow. So I'm, wow, I'm only in about two and a half foot of water. Let's see. Shorten it up quite a bit. Okay, we're going to go over the flat here at the Narrows. Should have plenty of water to float me. It was a little bit high when I started, plus they're running a little bit of water now, so still pretty shallow. And this missed one.
There are some big, oh, I just missed another one. Not in it very hard now. There are some big fish that hang on this, this flat out here. They're not, they're not fished to that much. I kind of wish I'd gone back up and just floated that stretch again, but that's all right. Come on, fish. That might have grabbed the bottom. That was slow. There's one. Good. Another good fly to drift over this flat for me has always been a San Juan worm. It is so shallow that, that hook can grab the bottom just a little bit. My float kind of does a hop. Well, I have to change tactics if I was going to keep fishing. I'd have to maybe add a split shot, put a bigger float on. I'd definitely do that same float again. I'd go all the way to look out, drift that whole inside bank. Another grab, I'm just about out of the shallow water, so that's where I call it quits. Okay. Well, it was fun. It worked out. A lot of times 
you get out here and, and, and they've changed the water conditions on you. And if you don't adapt, you're not catching. And I was able to do a couple of things and, and fish this water very effectively. Like I could drift a little bit longer because it's really starting to get deep now. It's probably a little over three feet now, four feet. make it a little deeper takes a while for those flies to get down to the bottom yeah I'm in five five foot of water now oh that was a bite oh, got it The other thing I could do is go over here. Extend it just a little bit longer. side where it's still fairly shallow. Should be able to get bit one more time. Maybe I ought to check my hook. Yep, I'm in deep, deep water now. I can't see the bottom. Well, okay. Okay. I guess the fish could see it. Took scud. I'm sorry, he just uh, had a little skin on the top of his, his mouth. Just barely, barely hooked, so he didn't get to see him. All right, thank you for watching. It was fun. I don't know how many fish I caught, but they were pretty active with that water coming on. It was fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. There we go. So that fish is sitting up in maybe six inches of water. Just right at the end of Eagle Island, drifting a scud down this bank.
It's a nice rainbow. He gave up pretty easy though. said he he's in pretty shallow water up there there's generally quite a bit of food on that flat though so usually a lot of fish hold still I should have fought him in a little longer nice all right I gotta go home for sure